What could you decide to show what up? The cat dragged in. This is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> Leave it. I'm a length bending machine. You're doing it too. <laughs> Your back window just fell. <laughs> Fluffer nutter in them. Do it just. What's up, boys? What's up, boys? $10 brushless DIY ESC. The only thing you need to worry about doing is soldering. I'm not good at it, and I was able to make this work. In this video, I'm just going to show you the stuff you need and where to put it at to make this. AM32 is the software this runs. I don't know what that means. However, Big Dumb Dad says AM32. Sweet. That should be tunable with any USB tuner and software. This is good to go as soon as you plug it in. I did no tuning, however, I guess it's tunable. I have no idea. I don't know much about this stuff. That came from Big Dumb Dad. Seems like a reliable source. Let me show you some quick clips before we get started of this in use. That way you know what to expect. The hardest thing about making this is soldering. I'm not gonna talk about that at all. If you want soldering tips, you're gonna have to look up your own video. I'm just gonna tell you what you need and where to put it. The main board ESC part, AliExpress website, it took probably a week or a week and a half to, to ship here. This is what it looks like on the website. If you want to pause and just type this in, this is what you search for. There's also a tuner thing that you can plug in the computer and mess with it. I did not do any of that. All I did was solder wires to it, right out of the package, hook it up, and run it. Now, soldering wires. Pause this if you care. This is a little diagram I made. So what you just saw, these three wires here go to the motor. If you want, you can just solder the motor wires directly to this. And I don't think the order matters as far as which one you solder where. Next up, battery. Battery plug is this plug. And it's the black one here on the end and the red one here on the end. The two outermost ones are for the battery plug. Next up is for the receiver. It's the white, the red, the black, and they're in between the two battery wires. You can just refer to the diagram that I just showed before this, but here's what it actually looks like done. I've ran probably th three battery packs through this so far. One of the concerns that a buddy had was it getting hot. I haven't noticed it getting hot yet, but I guess that's something to keep an eye on. I'm sure you could just cut the wires off of other stuff that you have, but if you want to buy the wires, I got mine on Amazon. Let me show you what I got. This is what I used for the motor wire. This is what I used for the thing that goes into the receiver. And 
And lastly, this is what I use for my battery connects. Keep in mind, I'm a moron. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know if this is safe. Do this at your own risk. But this was extremely cheap. It seems to work for now. It's lasted three battery packs, three or four battery packs. I've had no issues with it. I don't think it's as perfect as it could be, but for the price, it's quiet, it's smooth enough, and I'm happy with this. I think that's all. I ordered a bunch of them. I have a feeling as I'll do more, I'll learn little soldering tricks to make this easier. I really haven't soldered much at all in my life, and I hate doing it. This will be a good excuse to get better at it. And then also, I need to heat shrink them. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys learned something. Thank you for watching. <clears throat> I think at the end of these videos, at the end of all my videos, I'm just going to do a couple minutes, a little chill session. Just going to sit here. Maybe I'll show you some stuff I'm working on. Talk about anything crawler related. And just relax. Wind down. <clears throat> I bought this body recently. This was one of the roasting rigs episode. I bought it with the body only. So I need to figure out a chassis. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Finally got my Playmobil hot rod pretty much buttoned up. I drug my feet on this for quite a while because I didn't think I could fit everything in here and still have the driver fit. But we did it. Northwest Athos chassis. You can see how tightly everything's mounted in there. I'll do a video on this eventually. Still not sure about the wheels and tires. Actually, I think I kind of like these wheels. I don't know about the tires though. And I need to attach the driver. What else do I have laying around here? I've been messing around with links on this thing. This is Coop RC buggy. These links, I took steering links, bent them a little bit extra, and then added the little extender thing that I made a video on. Just been messing with different shock placements. I don't really know much about shocks. I need to learn more about that. Same guy, Coop RC. I completely changed this one up. This is the Eel chassis. Possibly changed it for the worst? I have no idea. I was just trying to get as much clearance as possible. So I took my rear lower links that used to be here and moved them up to the chassis. I had seen this on one of my roasting rig trucks. Actually they came from my secret Alaskan weapon, Partying Guy Dave. And then I rebent the upper links, turned them sideways, and put them on the outside of the chassis. It's a heck of a mess in the back of this thing. There's links and stuff going everywhere. Different shock mounts, it seems to work well. I'll keep running it for a bit. Oh, here's another thing. Drive shaft extender. Let me just show you one that's not attached. Ramp crab. Got these on Amazon. There's a ton of them in here, as you can see. And I have mine attached to the transmission, and then my drive shaft attaches to that. 
and that helps raise the drive shaft. So instead of the pivot point on the drive shaft being immediately off of the transmission, it puts the pivot point back more and raises it. I really have no idea what I was doing. I was just playing and trying to get as much clearance as possible out of the back of this thing. The way I learned, uh oh, that's about to fall off. The way I learn best is just do it and then go try it and see how it affects the truck. <clears throat> Goop RC. I just bought a $40 brushless motor ESC combo on Amazon. It's awful. Came with a carrying case though. I filmed it. I don't know if I'm going to post it or not. I've already edited the video too. I don't know if I'm going to post it or not. But don't buy it. It sucks. In my opinion. <clears throat> I think my magnets should be dry on this thing. Let's see. Sweet. I have a couple different paint ideas for this. I'm not sure those magnets work well. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet, but I have a couple different ideas. This is such a cool body. This might be my favorite body right now. That's about it. Let me know if you like this little after after video talk session. I have plenty to talk about and there's always new stuff in the micro world that we could talk about. Little Guy Racing, is anyone a part of their membership thing? If so, are you glad you are? Is it worth it? I'm not, just to be clear. Alright, I think that's it for this one. See ya.